This is the Jeff Kai's Auto Sports Desk. The Black Bears are out of hibernation and on the hunt. Three Bearcats are named best in the conference for the week, and the Amazing's in wild card action as we speak. This is the Sports Desk. But first, New York State Governor Kathy Hochul signing into legislation a new law that will require a notice about the potential dangers of gambling addiction on sports betting advertisement. This happening this morning. The new law will require the notice to be clearly displayed on advertisements building off of previous legislation that required the gambling addiction hotline to be displayed on ads. Despite the efforts to combat gambling addiction, many people don't think that the law will change much. No, I mean, people know the risks. They're going to gamble if they want to gamble. I know people that have lost tons of money and still gamble, so I can't see that making any difference. No, actually, like, a kind of addiction is more complicated um, problem that can be solved from the reading or pamphlet, such like that. The new law will require all sports gambling, gambling advertisements to display the warning. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem, you can call 1-877-HOPE-NY-NEW-YORK for help. Very much like the one we display every Saturday on Southern Tier Kickoff. While most bears are getting ready to shut it down and hibernate for the winter, the Binghamton Black Bears are just starting its hunt for a second straight championship. The Black Bears were back on the ice Tuesday morning in the same place that just five months ago they hoisted the cup. The puck officially dropping Tuesday morning on the new FPHL season. The defending Commissioner Cup champs hit the ice at Visions Veterans Memorial Arena for its first practice of the new hockey season. First two practices, actually, as the team is hosting two days ahead of its first game. Next Friday in Watertown, Black Bears are returning 15 players from last year's championship team, including its captain and starting goalie. We spoke with head coach Brent Sherwood in between sessions this afternoon about the mood of his team. A lot of smiling faces coming in, so everyone's happy to get back on the ice, see each other, try to catch up with all of them, but it's uh, too tough in one day. But as far as the energy goes, you couldn't ask for anything better. Well, uh, we're just trying to get the rust off, get back into a routine, and get some good habits going. Sherwood says building those habits is a lot easier to do when you have a foundation of veterans echoing your message on the ice. Veterans like the team's captain, Tyson Kirkby, and the one-two punch, Binghamton Boyce and Nett, Connor McNanima, and Nolan Egbert. He sets a tone in practice and games. He does it all, whether it's face-offs, D-zone, um, forecheck, and penalty kill, power play. He's, he's our go-to guy. It allows us to play a little bit more offensive by having that trust back in the net. So, um, obviously, you don't want to give up odd man rushes. However, like, we, we can uh, sustain those So with uh, having those two goaltenders in that. The Black Bears start the season on the road that Friday, October 11th in Watertown, the home opener. And banner raising set for the next night at the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Puck drops Saturday the 12th at 7 p.m. And Bearcats volleyball is red hot once again. Winners of three in a row on the court. And today, winners of three conference awards for the team's effort over the last seven days. Fifth-year captain Svetlina Ilieva picked up her third straight America East Player of the Week award. Alieva averaged six kills a set in the team's last three games over the last seven days. She also recorded a career high 28 kills on Sunday in a win over LIU. Joining her, winning conference honors junior Lottie Scully, who, set, who won the Setter of the Week award for the America East. Lottie had 36 assists against UAlbany, a career high until she broke that a couple of days later with 56 against Long Island University. Joining the upperclassmen, Victoria Dimitrov, Dimitrovov, a freshman, the first year right side hitter won her first Rookie of the Week award for her career. And let's update the game going on right now. This one actually in the bottom of the third. This graphic was updated right before I came on set. Everything else right though. 3 2 right now. Mets over the Brewers. Brewers put two up in the first inning. But the Mets responded. A triple by Jesse Winker and then a sack fly by Sterling Marte. And the Mets are up in game one of the wild card 3 to 2. A lot of exciting stuff going on still. And you're a Jets fan. I got some Jets news for you, too, once we go to commercial. Devontae Adams in trade rumors, maybe getting reunited oh. with his uh, partner, Aaron Rodgers. So all right. I can't wait to hear all about it. We we'll may hopefully have more on that at 10 <laughs> and 11. All right. Well, thank you so much. And don't go anywhere. We do have one final story coming up after the break.